Hello everyone, this is Mr. Elberonin here again, and today I'm here for a breakdown on Twice. Now Twice is an extremely fun character that I was not expecting to be as fun as he actually was. He's very complicated, that's why, or maybe not very complicated, but he's a quite a complicated character, that's why it's taken me so long to break him down. He's got really interesting movement, um, and combos, and unusual setups with obviously using his quirk twice, where he can clone the opponent and lead into oops, some unusual setups with that. So yeah, let's get into his buttons. Twice's regular attack string is this five hitting attack string that is really interesting. It's, or maybe, it just looks a lot different to what other ones do. It starts with this slide and it hits multiple times. And then every hit can be dash cancelled um, off of it. So you can dash cancel at any point. And as you saw, his air combo is this two hitting attack string, which is good for wall splats, as you saw before. There you go. So the second hit of his air attack string, which is just a simple two hit string, is really good for wall splats. And the whole string itself in the air does actually quite a bit of damage. Um, his red attack, his block attack, whatever you want to call it, is this unusual move. If you let it, he just does the wink at you, but you can cancel into attacks and unfortunately cancel the wink if you press attacks up. Um, it's not too crazy, because it's not that fast, but it's pretty good because it's pretty decently ranged, you know, it just has the job of a red attack, so if I, you know, I'm running around, I call out Togo, I can do the, oops, I can do my red attack when they're trying to block Togo, and then, because you can combo out of it, you can go into a combo. It does pretty good damage. And that was free. We'll get to that later. His yellow attack on the ground is this. Just, it's just a slash. You can combo into it and out of it. So you can cancel it into his other quirk buttons like this. This measuring tape move. And it's, it's used in your main most damaging combos usually. His air attack is this two hitting attack. You can dash cancel after it. Um, I don't find myself using it too much, unless it's the end of a combo and I'm, I know I'm getting close to a meteor effect. I'll just do one hit into this, into his tape measuring thing, and that's the most damage you can get, and it doesn't meteor blow. So yeah, that's the main use I have for this. But it can also be used for extending combos in the air. But yeah, it's two hits, which is good in the air for this air scramble. Okay, getting into his quirk one, he, it is this tape throw it is. So you stand there, he throws the tape, jumps behind you, and I don't know, the opponent's spinning, and you can combo into it and out of it just by pressing buttons. So I didn't have to dash cancel to do anything there. I can just press buttons after it, and it connects, so it's a combo extender, so it's really great. Um, and it's used in his main combos, even after his yellow attack, as you can see here. Sometimes when you're near the wall, it can be a bit unreliable, but you still want to go for it, because that's how he gets his main damage. In the air, he slides to the ground, and a lot of the time, after you do your tilt quirk one in the air after this combo, you'll do it, and then you can extend off of it as well. So his quirk one, in both forms, the air and the ground, is one of his main combo extenders because it's a free combo extender that just go in, goes into more buttons. And I also like to use it as his sort of projectile, like if I'm running around with stuff, this isn't his quirk one, but if you're running around with these, and you know, you, the opponent's kind of thinking, because well, you don't have a projectile, so what are you going to do? And you throw this out, and it's actually a lot faster than you expect, because you use it in combo, you don't use it out, outside that much, but if you use it as a projectile, it's actually pretty good, and it goes through like almost anything, because it doesn't count as a projectile, so it'll go through projectiles and you'll be given a full combo. Um, for his tilt quirk one, it is this, this move. So like you angle it and he will go in the direction that you tap. So 
So if I press backwards, it'll go sort of sideways-ish. <laughs> it's a bit hard to control. If you tap it forward, see he'll go straight through the opponent. Like if you tap towards them, he'll go towards them. If you go sideways, he'll go sort of sideways. Like diagonally sideways. You can do it in the air. The air one you can go backwards, like completely. And as you see, you can do two of them, just if you hold the button, he'll do like the effect twice, you don't have to press the button twice. And you can, can actually change the direction, so I can go forward, then back, or back, then forward, to try and fake the opponent out, because you can t attack after it. So, you know, you can try and catch them with things like that as you move around. And I really like using this as movement, like if I'm trying to get away, I can just use this and I almost cover the entire map. And like, no one catches you doing this, because it's very odd looking. <laughs> and they know that you can attack after it, and they are actually attacks themselves, so if the opponent runs straight into where the tape is, um, they'll get hit by it. And it's also used as a combo extender in the air, after his two attacks, you can cancel into it, and then cancel that into his air quirk one. So you go attack, attack, tilt quirk one, quirk one. Oops, not that fast though, you have to wait for the second hit to hit. And then from the quirk one, you can go back into a ground combo, so that's a really good combo extender. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah, we've showed that. Okay, you've seen me end my combos in this, this is his quirk two we're getting to now. It's the same in the ground and the air. He just grabs the opponent. It's a damaging combo, combo ender. Uh, you do it off of... Connect it off of practically anything. It doesn't get a wall splat, I don't think, ever. Yeah, not that I'm aware of. Okay, this will be a test. Yeah, okay. It doesn't wall splat, and you don't really get a combo off of it. You can dash cancel, but you're practically never gonna get anything off of it, I can't tell. Maybe if you use a support or something. But its main use, other than being his damaging combo ender, is it sets up for his tilt quirk too. And if you've hit that move once in the game, then you have access to his tilt quirk too being this, where he actually summons the opponent and can do all of their buttons. So like with Kami, it's really great. I can bring her out, and then she goes into her combo starter, and I can do my combos. Okay, um, if you don't have the support charged, so if you haven't done the, the quirk 2, the measuring grab, if you just do it on its own, it'll just be this, like, mud puddle pil pillar thing which does a thousand damage, you can dash cancel after it if you want. It, you basically don't use this that much. I think it blocks projectiles, which is kind of interesting, but other than that, it doesn't really have that many uses. It has a large hitbox, you know, you can catch you on enough guard, it's just another big hitting move, maybe an anti-air. But yeah, you don't find yourself using this that much. It's kind of like a bad version of Mina's Wall, you know, it's useful sometimes. But yeah, once you've hit the quirk 2, that's when you're going to want to be using this move, because if you're far away and you've got the time, you can bring out the support, and then go into a red move or something, or... Yeah, it's just really cool, because especially if you're an opponent with a really overpowered attack, like Kami. So if I'm full screen over here, and I call out Kami, and I go in, I can do this red attack of hers, and this has such good tracking that there's practically nothing the opponent can do about it. And they're usually so cautious once you've called out a clone of them, they're like, oh, wait, what? They like sidestep and do things they don't know what to do. And Kami's, um, a red move, it tracks sidestep, so it'll catch them, because they're going to be so like, wait, what? What? Why is there a second one of me? And yeah, that practically always hits. We fight a lot of Kami's online, so I like to lab with twice against characters like Deku or Kami that you always see. Um, oh, also, the clone summon, so once you've hit this, you can use the clone summon to go in for extended combos using the clone's attacks. So say with Kami, I can do my regular attacks into the clone summon into like a Kami combo and then back into my combo and that would look something like this. Using her really good Mutilus starter, 
Now I can go into my combos. And that cost me no dash cancels. So he's pretty good that way if you know um, how to use the opponent's character and their buttons, then it's really good to try and use their strengths against them, literally. But now we're done with his buttons, we can get into his combos, lucky you guys. Okay, so, this, his combos can be a bit complicated, but a basic bread and butter that you'll do with twice is regular attack string into armor move, into this, oh, that messed up there. Sometimes they're a bit unreliable with the wall and things, but I'll try again. So, three attacks. Into armor move, into quirk one, into. Oh, why did I reset that? Into quirk one. Yeah, the wall messed it up. Into two attacks, tilt quirk one, quirk one. Oh! Damn it, I messed that up. I didn't mean to put that dash cancel in there. I just freaked out. Quirk one, attack, attack, kill quirk one. And you get the measure off at the end of the combo. It does 8,331 damage, which is pretty good. That's pretty decent damage. Also, if you take note, that w was zero dash cancels for that 8,000 damage. I did, like, it didn't cost me any meter, I didn't use any sidekicks, no dash cancel. I got 8,000, and I got the, um, measure off, so if I have, like, space, I'm able to call out Kami and do some cool stuff with that. Um, sometimes this combo, it didn't happen then, but because of the armor move, it can cause the opponent to meteor blow kind of early, depending on how many hits of that air quote one hit. See, that was the normal effect, usually it does that, especially after the second time you do the regular attack string, but sometimes it can meteor blow early, weirdly. So sometimes, if I really want to get a cool extended combo, I'll leave the armor attack out. And then you can actually go in for a slightly more extended different combo that does about the same damage. And if, you, if you're going to be lucky, if you're gung-ho and going to try and go for max damage, Max damage free combo with twice looks like this. Armor move. There we go. Missed it. Quirk one. Attack. Attack. This, this, this. Oh! The air quirk one didn't hit. Into quirk one again. Oh my god, why'd that miss? How dare you? I was so close. Hello? Quirk one? Okay, another try. Here we go. Oh! Uh, what? Oh yeah, see that's the random dash uh, meaty blow that can happen sometimes. Here we go again. <laughs> but essentially it does about 8,900 damage, almost 9,000 damage. And it cost me no meter, and I have Kami out. I have like a clone of Kami ready because I did the measure at the end. So if you have your measure out and you've yep, yeah, you've got the clone ready from doing the quirk two, you can go into a combo. This is specific to Kami, but you can if you know what your opponent does, does you can do something like this. Oops. Oh. Measure. I love messing up when I'm recording. Oh, is Kami still out there? Oh my god. 
Uh, yeah, basically, just go into some high damaging thing with your opponent, or you can go into a combo starter if they have one, like Kami does. And that's just another easy way he can extend his combos, depending on the opponent. So 8,700, that's, that's pretty good damage for free with twice, and I got the measure off again. So I can make sure that I do these and go into some <laughs> weird extended stuff. Um, his combos, if you start in the air, are practically the same. Except you just start the whole situation from the ground. Oh, I messed up. Man, 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 wait, one more try. No, oh, one more, one more. There we go. I'll do about 8,000 damage, yeah. Just for hitting them in the air, which is he twice is really good at because if you're running around with these things and then you hit your opponent, like a lot of the time if you're running around and they try and jump into the air with you, you can engage them with your air attack, you know, if you've been jumping around and they do something weird, just jump in. Because his first attack in the air is actually really quick. Especially if they jump towards you, it's super fast and you can punish them with this. And that is basically twice in a nutshell. You can do dash cancels in his combos, but you want to basically be saving that. Like, if there's no reason to, I don't... Like, twice is a character where he can do lots of damage without using a dash cancel, so I don't see why you would, just for the sake of it. He can get more, like, more damage. See, like, there he did 8,800, when he usually doesn't do that much. But if you can do like decent damage, like the damage that he gets is pretty decent, it's like in the 8000s and stuff, and that, that was an even optimal combo. I don't see a point in doing dash cancels in his combos, and it, if the opponent brings out the assists, then it's fine, because you haven't wasted anything. And so I just like to save it, so if I do get the opponent in a hit, and if they have their support, I just press the button and I can instantly go into my plus ultra 1 and get some good unbreakable damage, like for a punish. So essentially you want to always be able to have plus ultra meter, like for his combos, which you almost always do since you're not doing a dash cancel. So you're always gonna be able to cancel into a plus ultra, which he does quite a bit of damage with, and I usually do something like this. I'm not doing it instantly. There we go, that's pretty good damage, and he can also do it off of his extended combos, like after you've done this whole shenanigans. Oops, I got myself. You can go into plus ultra one from that. And get pretty decent damage. So, and yeah, and that's something you're basically always going to be able to do with twice since you're not using dash cancels. So yeah, make sure you're using your plus ultra one. And obviously as well, just like your plus ultra one, you can be using plus ultra twos because you'll have it a lot. いい考えがないぜ。どうよこれ。測るぜ。ちょ。ふけ。ふけ。よいしょ。はい。勝っちゃったよ。<笑> Actually, that is not really worth it. Look, that did about the same amount of damage as I did plus ultra one. Uh, anyways, yep, to use your plus ultra one then. And if you've really been saving your meter, you can go for your team plus ultra. Oh, no, what? That's not it. 
Wait, they have a team of soldiers, don't they? I love that so much. Anyways guys, this was a bit of a short one, but you know, twice, once you understand him, he's not that complicated once you've got his combos. And he's definitely not overpowered, he doesn't really have too much cheap stuff, but he's really fun to use. Like, I'm not trying to say he's weak, I just played a few ranked sets with him and he's really fun. I think I did about like six in a row just because he's, he's so fun to use and I just wanted to keep going. He's with all of his meterless combos that are like really long and flashy. Mm, do decent damage. Oh, quick side note on the um, air quirk one, you have to dash after it in order to get the combo or else you're just going to stand there looking like an idiot. So if you do the dash, then you can... But yeah, twice is really fun. He has good control with the, his tape movement. He has... It can use it as a bit of a projectile if you're near close to like poke your opponent out and if they get hit, it's an easy hit confirm into a combo. Uh, he has decent red attack, great movement, and he has the clone shenanigans which really depend on like which opponent you're using, you're fighting against. If you're against someone like a 100% Deku, then obviously you can summon him and then use that amazing like projectile and summon that, and then you get to use the projectile against him and probably pressure him and go into your combos. Easy peasy. And yeah, that's about it for twice. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. And yeah, bye! <laughs>